uh, Zeno's brand of stoicism was obviously in, uh, um, influenced by cynicism because mm. Crates teacher was a cynic yeah he also studied with a group of philosophers that were particularly interested in logic and so he, he picked up the importance of logic from from them mm. now the cynics were one of a number of Socratic sects at the time so basically Socrates who had died recently uh, you know a few decades before the, the time that we're talking about by the way we are talking about the, the around 300 BC right? mm. Yeah. And, you know, Socrates had died, um, um, the Peloponnesian War is over, in fact, Alexander the Great had conquered Greece, and then Alexander is going to be dying soon, uh, causing the collapse of the, of the Macedonian Empire. That's just to, to give mm. you the basic in terms of uh, background, in terms of history. So the cynics were street philosophers, were itinerant philosophers, they're kind of like Buddhist monks, uh, mm. almost, except much more in your face. Yeah, um, yeah. So they had no I've heard some great views. stories about Diogenes. Maybe we could get right. into a couple a of those. Of <laughs> a different Diogenes, Diogenes of Sinope, who was a famous, a famous, a famous uh, um, cynic. So, mm. th- so they owned no property. They didn't marry. They didn't have children. Uh, they they lived a really minimalist kind of uh, lifestyle, and they were mm. mostly going around reminding people of the fact that they were not very virtuous. So. Yeah. Uh, you can really think, you know, the analogy is really is monks, either Christian monks actually during the Middle Ages or, or Buddhist monks even in modern times, mm. uh, except with an edge, <laughs> yeah. a little bit of an edge, <laughs> right? Now, um, that was one of the major influences on on Zeno. Of course, he started out, as I said, the story by his, his interest in philosophy was picked by Xenoph- Xenophon's memorabilia. So obviously, it was also influenced by, by Socrates mm. and the Socratic uh, teachings were actually influential on, on all of the Hellenistic schools, um, the Cynics, the Stoics, um, even the, the you know the Aristotelians, the mm-hmm. late Platonists, which became to be known as the, as the academic skeptics, uh, even the Epicureans. Even though the Epicureans actually rejected basically uh, much of what Socrates was saying, they were still working in rejection and therefore in in, in comparison with Socrates. Mm-hmm. So we should see all of these schools as kind of derived from or influenced by or or in reaction to uh, Socrates. Hmm. So it's probably important that anyone who's studying studying Stoicism would also maybe go back and check out the works of of Socrates, right? Like to to kind of get an idea of, yeah, the the foundations. And we have two sources for Socrates, of course, the Platonic Dialogues. Uh, Hmm. Socrates himself never wrote anything down. Yeah. We have Platonic Dialogues, and then we have Xenophon's, uh, there's three books by, by Xenophon, the, including the Memorabilia, that talk about, about Socrates. What about so, works from the Cynics? Is there anything that we can look at there that, that would give us a good idea, or is it basically just stories? And, as far and, as I know, the Cynics don't, didn't write anything down. It, it would yeah. have been kind of counter to their whole view of life, right? I mean, in order yeah. to write things down, you had to own stuff and, yeah. and you know, have money to buy. Um, yeah. You need to write things, and so they, they were definitely not into into writing things. So um, our whole idea of the Stoics is based, sorry, the Cynics is based around uh, these stories of them provoking people and <laughs> and going yeah. around. Yeah, right. right. Exactly. So um, now we do have other sources about both Socrates and you know Socratic teachings and uh, and all the other schools, which are later later sources, however, so later mm-hmm. commentary commentators. Um, but in, ter- in terms of direct sources, we pretty much have only Xenophon and, and Plato. Fortunately, th- that's extensive uh, material, especially mm. Plato. Uh, 